A high stakes summit with global implications is taking place in Singapore right now. Good evening, everyone. I'm Sherry Jackson. A short time ago, President Trump met with North Korean leader Kim Jong un for the first time. Here's CBS News correspondent Mola Lenge with the latest. President Trump and North Korea's Kim Jong un met one on one for the first time on the island resort of Sentosa in Singapore. The two leaders retreated behind closed doors for the historic meeting, scheduled to last 45 minutes. During that time, the only people in the room with them were their translators. We're going to have a great discussion and I think tremendous success. It'll be tremendously successful. Mr. Trump has said the summit's most crucial moments would come at the beginning. How long will it take to figure out whether or not they're serious? I said, maybe in the first minute. I think that uh, very quickly I'll know whether or not something good is going to happen. The White House has repeatedly said its goal is the complete denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula, but it's not clear how they'll convince Pyongyang to do that. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo offered few details as to what the U.S. would offer North Korea. President Trump recognizes Chairman Kim's desire for security and is prepared to ensure that a North Korea free of weapons of mass destruction is also a secure North Korea. President Trump believes the summit itself is a sign of progress. Beforehand, he tweeted in part, the fact that I am having a meeting is a major loss for the U.S., say the haters and losers. Mola Lenghi, CBS News, Washington.